Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here from Chris Travels. Just want to make a quick video uh, catching everybody up on why I went with a Class A over the Class C. So the first Class C, when G and I did the live video when I mentioned that I was looking into getting a Class C, uh, the example I shown was a 2013. It was a Chalet, which is essentially a, a Winnebago. And of course it was a Class C. That Class C um, basically was 59 I think it was fifty nine thousand dollars for that class C and I started looking around started doing some research and what I found was um, people typically advise and what I kinda after doing a lot of research kinda agree with um, buying a higher quality class A versus a newer class C is a better investment uh, for a couple reasons depreciation on class A's aren't as as high as the class C's and also the class A's typically until you start getting into the uh, the Sprinters and Mercedes those those types of vans they typically with the class C's the build quality is much much less so for example <clears throat> a lot of the class C's have TPO uh, ceilings which is basically a type of rubber that they use for the for the ceilings of the class C's whereas a lot of the class A motorhomes they actually have fiberglass roofs and that's just one example like there's a lot of the suspension a lot of the the engine and a lot of different things as well with the class a where they just put in more quality that will last over time rather than the class c which is built you know not so well so <clears throat> i was looking at a couple different brands for the class a uh, tiffin monaco um, the list goes on but what i, what I decided to do was get a higher quality Class A that was maybe you know six or seven years old with low mileage. As I mentioned in in the tour video, the 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 Class A only has fourteen thousand miles, and it was garage kept most of its life. And I'm the second owner, you know, so I, I know where the motorhome's been, um, and it it just looks immaculate. Like a lot of the small little details have been taken care of, and if you really look at it, like the the asking price, original asking price for that Class A, the uh, the Monaco, was sixty-five thousand dollars. I got them talked down to fifty-five thousand dollars with new tires included. So, <clears throat> if you compare that to the Class C, that was a two thousand thirteen. It had thirty-five thousand miles on it, and it was fifty-nine thousand. So, I think I made the right choice. I think the the uh, the Monaco is going to be something that I'm going to be living in and traveling in for many many years to come, and as I said, I'm super excited. And uh, thanks everybody for the comments and the suggestions and things to look into with the Monaco in terms of you know the the lighting and you know taking care of it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, lots more videos to come. Um, I got a lot of things that I'm wanting to do videos on, and you know just kind of getting them all written out and getting them all ready to to record but yeah that's that's why I decided to go with the with the class A over the class C it just seemed like a better investment and it'll have higher build quality and will just last longer they, they just seem to last longer than the class C so thanks for watching everybody catch you later